In this video, we'll continue continue our study of uniform circular motion by looking at uniform circular motion vertically, or in other words, when the circle that it's making is vertical. So we're still using the same equations, a Newton's second law, but we're saying that the net force, which is that part right there, is in this case a centripetal force, and the centripetal force is equal to mv squared over r. It's always important to know in every example that we use what are the centripetal forces or force because there could be more than one. So that's always the net force um, in the vertical circle. So for a roller coaster, the net forces are the normal force in gravity, so the surface pushing on the, on the cart, in this case ball and string tension in gravity, and for a plane, it's lift in gravity. We're going to look specifically at just the roller coaster. So if we're looking at the roller coaster, we will follow our steps still. We'll say our system is, main, is the cart, the earth and the track. Um, the positive direction is upward and to the right. And let's check out our motion map. So this is what our motion map would look like. The velocities are, con I'm sorry, the speeds are constant, are constant, but the velocities uh, change as far as their direction goes. The accelerations always point inward. Let's look at what's going on at the top of a roller coaster. So what we've got there is if the, if the cart was right there, the surface of the roller coaster would be pushing down on the cart, and there would obviously be the weight of the cart itself. So if we were to apply Newton's second law into for this situation of a uniform circular motion, we would say since the normal force is downward, it's got to negative value, the force due to gravity has got a negative value and equals the mass, again that part's the acceleration, right there, the acceleration, and because in our system we're saying it's downward, we got to include that negative sign there. So to solve for the normal force for the top of a roller coaster, we would solve this equation for n. Notice that the normal force would be the net force, the total force, including both of them, minus mg. So make sure you know mathematically how to go from there to there, but it's more important to know th this concept. Okay, uh, one of the things you might be asked uh, to find is what is the minimum velocity to stay in a circle? So if we were going around in this circle, at some point, if we went too slowly, it would no longer be uniform circular motion. Um, that'd be kind of scary on a roller coaster. So at that minimum velocity, um, something very specific happens the normal force goes to zero. Notice we didn't draw a normal force. And the only force keeping us inward, keeping us centripetal, would be the, would be the force due to gravity, or mg. So the minimum velocity happens when there's no normal force. So in this equation, I'd replace the n with a zero, and I'd have to know how to solve that equation for v. So make sure you can do that. Now let's look at the normal force at the bottom of a roller coaster. Still mainly the same setup, except that now the normal force is upward, there's n, and we're gonna sa subtract the force due to gravity and equals mv squared over r. Now the acceleration um, is upward, because remember we're calling upward positive. The force due to gravity is downward, and like, like we said, the normal force is upward. So now the normal force is um, this value here, okay, mg plus um, whatever the um, net force was, which was, um, well, so the net force, which was this value here, is a normal force minus this force due to gravity. That would be the total net force. So before, um, our net force was, it looked like it was about three units inward if the normal force is two and the weight is one okay so that's two units in this situation it still be two units because this is like three units long and we're subtracting one it would still get a total of two units for our centripetal force okay so in class i want us to be able to do the same thing for um, the normal force at the top of a hill um, and i and i just want you to review um, what the forces are in uniform circular motion for these types of vertical circles.